Hello, I'm Angelie Velasquez and welcome to This Week in Review for January 21st, 2011 on Greeners TV. A project of the week is the Hotel Intercontinental in Santiago, Chile. The 16-floor hotel and convention center has 96 rooms and boasts the largest convention facilities available in all of Chile. Rochester-based Green Living Technologies has provided another global milestone as the leader in modular green living wall technologies with the largest modular green wall in the world. In collaboration with their licensed South American manufacturer and distributor, Impacto Verde, the Intercontinental Hotel is getting a green facelift. Impacto Verde is currently installing a 17,000 square foot green living wall on the southern and western elevations, which is about the size of six doubles tennis courts. It's pretty much finished and the hotel expects to open for occupancy soon. To learn more about the Hotel Intercontinental, click on our Project of the Week link on our homepage. Read Caroline Minetri's first contributing editor post on the Sky Gardens blog. Caroline was our student intern for a year from 2008 through 2009 and has stayed on with us collaborating on art design projects like the Sky Gardens blog and the redesign of our 2011 Green Earths and Walls of the World calendar. She's been helping Linda with plant testing and maintenance on the Rock Mill Park Green Earth Pavilion and trial gardens here in Alpharetta, Georgia and other green roof design projects too. This past Martin Luther King weekend, they both participated in a training in New York by Green Living Technologies. They were guests of GLT CEO George Irwin, who's also our Greenwall editor. George wanted them to see firsthand how their green roofs and Greenwall training can benefit youth and underserved adults getting into or returning to the workforce with green collar jobs. Caroline writes about their trip and the class of about a hundred, including 30 students who voluntarily gave up their three-day holiday weekend to learn how to become certified Green Living Technologies Green Roof and Green Wall installers. And she talks about meeting the wonderful Steve Ritz, who is a teacher at Discovery High School in the Bronx. The success of his classes has propelled the program into a core degree track to be aligned with the New York State and National Learning Standards for a new career training school in the Bronx to open in 2011. Advertiser press release, Stunning Biodiverse Roof is a UK first from Alumask. Alumask Zinco has provided a series of stunning biodiverse green roofs for Central London's new mixed-use development Regent's Place. Believed to be the first of their kind in the United Kingdom, the roofs are designed to create a high-value biodiverse environment through the provision of a broad range of wildlife habitats. Advertiser press release, Green Roof presentation at Denver's Pro Green 2011 Expo. Join Bison Innovative Products and other experts and learn how the up-and-coming trend of installing gardens and green space on rooftops is impacting the environment and Colorado on February 11, 2011 at the Colorado Convention Center. Denver's leading experts will give examples of green roof installations as well as present the environmental, financial, and social benefits of green roofs. Advertise a press release, Green Roof Blocks introduces Green Wall Blocks Vegetated Retaining Wall System. Green Wall Blocks, a new product designed and developed by Green Roof Blocks, takes the hassle out of building retaining walls. Made of UV-resistant plastic, Green Wall Blocks' 9-inch tall retaining wall blocks are lightweight, can be transported in the trunk of a car, easily carried to the job site, and allow a retaining wall to be built in a fraction of the time it takes to build a wall using heavy concrete blocks or railroad ties. The National Association of Home Builders Green Building Standards is undergoing an update for 2012 and the NAHB Research Center's open comment period for the Green Building Standard closes online on January 31st, 2011. This standard applies to residential buildings, including both single-family and multi-unit buildings, and covers new construction as well as significant additions and renovations. Comments may be submitted online at ngbscomments.nahbrc.org. 
Today, January 21st, is the Green Roofs for Healthy Cities Green Roof Design and Installation 201 training course in Chicago, Illinois. Green Roof Design and Installation 201 is an immensely practical course that provides participants with an in-depth information on the multitude of green roof implementation issues from the first client meetings through scheduling, insurance and permit issues, site analysis, construction considerations, subcontracting, building a qualified project team, post-construction maintenance, and more. This weekend, January 21st through January 23rd, is the 6th Good Earth Home Garden and Living Show at the Lane County Fairgrounds in Eugene, Oregon. America's first sustainable home and garden show celebrates six years in Eugene and offers over 250 sustainable exhibits for the home, garden, and life. You can explore seven pavilions of green, good earth living for home, garden, food, transportation, art, wellness, and reuse. Enjoy national green building experts, sustainable living experts, Northwest authors, live music, organic eats, 80 eco-friendly seminars, and green neighbors. Next week, January 24th through the 27th, is U.S. Composting Council Conference and Trade Show in Santa Clara, San Jose, California. They invite you to join them at their 19th Annual Conference and Trade Show at the Hyatt Regency Santa Clara. The largest conference and exhibition in the world for composting, wood waste, and organics recycling industry is the most comprehensive program available of training courses, educational and technical sessions, plus facility tours and live equipment demonstrations. The Chicago Tribune is keeping score. They say Mayor Richard Daley may not be keeping score, but a green accounting of his 21-year reign includes such things as having more than 600,000 trees planted and 93 miles of landscape medians and 339 teaching gardens in Chicago public schools having been built. And more than 7 million square feet of planted roofs have been added, including the famous 20,300 square foot green roof atop City Hall. Chicago is one of the first cities in the nation to adopt LEED certification for public buildings and has more LEED certified green buildings than any other city. Jessica Steven of GreenfieldNow.com reports on fishing for a better way to fix a roof. She says a local aquatic store fulfills a green dream with help from the Sewer Ridge District. Greenfield's first green roof has been installed at Aquatics Unlimited, an idea owners Janice and Roger Cohen considered for years for their tropical fish store, but dismissed mainly because of the cost. Then, Pioneer Roofing and Johnson Creek, which had worked with the Cohens to weigh the best option to replace their 20-year-old roof, learned about a grant opportunity through the Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewerage District. Under the program, business and other organizations could get up to $200,000 for a green roof project. Interior Design announces its top green project picks. MyGreenPalette.com and InteriorDesign.net teamed up to get great green projects showcased and entered to win an Apple iPad at the same time. And the winner is the Windrush School by Bay Area Architects Ratcliffe. This certified LEED Platinum K-8 through school plants the seeds of eco-conscious design concepts at the source, today's youth. Featuring a green roof, passive ventilation, photovoltaic panels, low emitting indoor materials, and much more, no elements were spared to create a healthful learning environment for its student, faculty, and administrative population. You can read the full article to also see the final round of Top Green Picks. To learn more about these stories and new ones posted daily, go to our In the News or News League section of our website. Have something you think we should know about and post on our website? You can send us your green articles, videos, and images to editor at greennews.com. Do you want to stay in the know about what's going on at greennews.com? Well, be sure to subscribe to our Green News TV channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. And be a member of our network on LinkedIn. Make sure to go to greenroofs.com slash calendar.htm to order our 2011 Green Roofs and Walls of the World 12-month wall calendar for you, your friends, family, and coworkers. This has been This Week in Review for January 21st, 2011 on Green Roofs TV. I'm Angelie Velasquez, and I'll see you next week. 
This week's episode is sponsored by the Green Roofs and Green Walls Directory and the 2011 Green Roofs and Walls of the World Calendar, brought to you by GreenRoofs.com.